Hi everybody, I'm Gwenna the Sunflower Flipper on YouTube, Facebook, and eBay. Please like and subscribe my channel on YouTube and please go to eBay and look for Sunflower Flipper store and you will find my store. I have a video right after this. I'm going to show you what I sold and flipped for a profit and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I have bought and, and I will be listing on eBay. I'll be right back. There's something I wanted to slip into this video. Oh, I just sold something on the eBay. You hear it go cha-ching? <laughs> I wanted to teach you something. I've been trying to teach you something new in every video. So this time I'm going to teach you how to use an app. You've heard of Google, so download the Google app right there. It's the Google app. Don't download Google Chrome, just the Google app. Download the Google app and click on it. And then right here is a little camera. And if you tap on that camera and you want to find out what this vase is, you take a picture of the vase. As you can see, I took a picture of the vase and then it will search for it. And you just swipe up and it tells you that it is a Fenton Amberina vase. Simple as that. So when you're out shopping and you don't know if something's worth money, just pull out your phone, take a picture of it, and you should find it. And if you don't find it, then go on eBay and search for it. Welcome back. You saw what I just have sold and flipped for a profit. And now I'm going to show you some items that I will be listing. And I wanted to give a shout out to Wakanda Boats. We just bought a Lun boat. Wakanda Boats is in Glen Elder, Kansas. People come from all over the United States to buy their boats there. Great place, great people. So let's get started with some of the things that I just purchased. I don't usually get clear glass, but this one is crystal and you can hear when you ding it with your fingernail that it's crystal, but this one is signed. So it is um, Germany, I think, Crystal. My daughter got me started on these. They are blossoms and she sold quite a few of them. We picked them up out in Minneapolis and this is just a barn, but the brand is Blossom. This is another Blossom. I love Grandpa, Little Fisherman, it's brand new. This is Pioneer Women, it's marked on the bottom. She's based out of Oklahoma, I think, and this is Christmas, and it's a cookie jar. I mean, uh, not a cookie, but a um, candy jar. This is Mexican Pottery Mushroom, and it's got some hand-painted owls on it. This one is B-A-U-T-I-S-T-A, -A, but I don't know, <laughs> but it's marked on the bottom. 
Easter's right around the corner, so I found this cute Easter bunny. All the flowers are okay. It is a young in Dundee, Michigan. It's a young bunny rabbit. Isn't she cute? This is a wood inlay music box and it plays green sleeves and it's made in Italy. And the music box works really well. This is a little mouse and he's vintage. He's made in Japan and he is new with tags and he's Joseph Originals. I have about four other ones other ones that I will be listing. This I thought was very cute. I'm having a hard time parting with it because it lights up. Isn't that fun? You just hang it up on your wall. It has a ribbon. Hang it up and light it up at night. This is a perfume bottle cut glass and it is marked on the bottom Germany. No chips or cracks. Isn't that cute? This I just listed. This is extremely heavy and it's what they call color splash. It's multicolored and it is mid-century and it is hand blown. You can tell on the bottom where they flattened off the bottom part. The inside they have lined in white. This is listed for a high price, but it is heavy, beautiful, and it's worth the money. This is some Amberina. All the Amberina I list sells. It's got the crimp top. This is mid-century. Then we have the Stetson hat. And it has some little tiny holes. Those are moth holes because it is a wool hat. It's marked Stetson on the interior. It has some wear, but it has lots of wear left in it. Then we have a vase and, you know, the Longer Burger baskets. Well, this is a Longer Burger vase. They make vases. Isn't that cute? It's marked on the bottom. This is a vintage vase green with a leaf pattern and it has these lines on the bottom and when they have these lines I think they're Royal Copley. And we have these two miniature vases. They are hand painted. They are Czechoslovakian and they have an iridescent glow to them. Aren't they pretty? This is a vintage poodle. Her eyes kind of scare me a little bit, but she, someone likes her because she sells. <laughs> she can almost hypnotize you with those eyes. This is a Made in Italy piggy bank. It's marked on the bottom and it's got its plug on the bottom. Now let me show you some clothes. I have too much to show you in one video of everything that we found, so I'll make another video in about a week to show you more of the things that I found and I'm going to be listing. And here are some of the clothes. This is a new with tags. It's cotton flannel. It's a Woolrich men's shirt. The tag has a $95 tag. It is a size, let me see, extra, extra large, got long sleeves, and it has pockets in the bottom, so it's a jacket. You can use it as a heavy shirt or a jacket. Then we have a kitty cat with a bird. It's a women's t-shirt, and this was added. It's a fruit of the loom shirt, and that was added, and it is a size medium. This I showed you, I think, a long time ago, but I'm just getting it listed on eBay. It's a Victoria's Secrets pink sweatshirt. It's more of a lighter weight. It's poly, cotton poly mix. What size is that? I forgot to tell you the size. It is a size large. 
And then we have, I've never heard of it, it's a W62. It's just a pair of jean capris, women's capris. And there's the back. And they are a size 14 petite. They're already listed. Go check them out. And I have Nuba tags, Levi's, women's shorts. They're Bermuda shorts. And they're mid-rise. And they are a size 16. And we have these Cato women's capris. And they are a size 8. Let me see if I have any. Oh, there's one more thing I want to share with you. My daughter and I are starting to look around and branch out a little bit. And my sister Susie and Joni also do eBay. And we're trying to find newer things and look for things that we don't usually sell. So I don't usually sell CDs, but this one is worth some good money. It's rock and roll and it's in the 1960s. It was made in the 80s. It's a re remake, but it's still worth some good money. And this is a die-cast Snoopy airplane. It's missing half of the propeller, but they still sell with part of their propeller missing. But we're at a garage sale and I picked up records and there was a whole, let me get to it here. There was a whole lot of Beatles records. Oh, Beatles records. Starting to come out. They're falling apart here. There we go. I don't know. It's got the names on it, but it's not signed. Now these match kind of, but the title's a different color. And this is St. Peter's uh, Club Band, Lonely Heart Clubs Band. Isn't that one cool? I have some more. And we got some Ernest Tug, Swing Kings. This one is different, the Ambassadors Quartet. Classic of the silver screen. Uh, a tribute to the American soldier. This one's brand new in plastic. Uh, so there's more of them. We got a James Taylor. Um, this one's scary looking on the outside. It's called Uriah Heap Demons Wizards. So they're kind of trying some new things that I don't normally sell a lot of. Once in a while I'll get one, but I got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> they were a good price. So there are some of the things that will be listed on eBay or already have. Please, There will be a link above this video on Facebook or on YouTube. There will probably be a link below. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get it to grow. I'm trying to at least get to 100 and then go from there. So everybody have a great day. Take a little time to enjoy the view. Life is good. Bye-bye.